Reality on the ground, real people, real issues. And we're coming to you live from the University of Chisumi. It's a very remarkable university. It's a Christian university, I believe. And uh, it is something we are proud of as a country, for God and my country. And today we're going to talk about something to deal with cyber harassment. Cyber stalking. And some of them even send whatsapps and they say if you share this to 25 people uh, a miracle is going to happen that is cyber harassment hmm? people sending if you send this to 50 people no 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 you're going to get 50 gbs that is cyber harassment and it actually covers a lot of things we have what they call revenge pornography where a picture of person is actually shared because there is rage and anger then we have of course sexual harassment surveillance of late women when they go out and men their beloved ones seem to be monitoring them on phones they know where they are what they're doing they have tapped their phones their conversations that is cyber harassment that is something you're doing and maybe to put you to speed in Uganda in the most recent uh, prominent cases women are biggest, biggest, the biggest victims we have. Men are the ones who are actually doing it. Of course, with other women spreading their fellow women <laughs> stuff. But men are in the lead about doing this. So the question is, today we are asking, we want to know what is the cause of these and how far have we gone? I will start with the president. Good morning, Tebo. Good morning. Mm. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yes. So let's start with the simplest thing. What is going on? Where have we gone wrong as a nation? Uh, where we've gone wrong as a nation mm. is that we've lacked really laws mm. to come and, 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 and curb this vice that is happening, mm. the cyber harassment, mm. that someone can sit in their bedroom or wherever mm. and do what they want on the internet without those restrictions. But we have the anti-pornographic law and uh, Lokodo seems to be doing a lot of work. He has curbed down a couple of things, he has arrested some people. You remember a girl called the Panado? I remember. Panado is still in prison. Remember the producer Didi? He's still in prison. How sure are you that they are still in prison? They are. My job is to know that they are still in prison. Yeah, they are still in prison. Yes. But it's not implemented. Mm. As so how do you want it to be implemented? How I want it to be implemented is that, for example, mm. take a look at when this, uh, for example, the note pics are mm. sent on WhatsApp and mm. social media mm. and all that. Mm. We've not really followed up mm. these people who, have, who are spreading it. Mm. And to them it has become a norm, like mm. they're anonymous on, on what. can we track them as a nation? Do you think we have the capacity and technological advancement to track where the message, the message came from Penina and it is at Chamagiru's? I don't think we have that technology mm. yet. It's what we need, really need to get. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. This is the president, Simon uh, Peter, and it's, it's, it's very interesting. They promised us a machine. And the minister was very, he said to Gendaliete Chuma when it gets in here, no one is going to spread anything uh, of that kind of sort. But fast forward, we are still having the vice. Yeah, but what do you think is really lacking in a nation? Come closer, people. Thank you. My name is Drichero Monika. Yes. Uh, for me, I think uh, literally it's the loss of values. Mm. Uh, when people lose values and morals, mm. that's what comes in. Mm. And um, when we look at the social teachings of the Catholic Church, mm. they always emphasize the values. Mm. And in these values, someone has to, there is dignity, respect, and everything. Mm. And also when you go down to the grassroots, I think our families have a big deal to do. Because mm. as a parent, the way you nurture your child is the way that child will be. Mm. Mm. So most parents have have lost the, uh, have lost uh, that uh, have lost that part of, of parenting their children. Mm. They don't have time for their children. A parent comes back in the evening, mm. finds their children are sleeping, mm. just goes to bed in the morning, maybe leaves a cheat on the table, mm. have a good day, mm. good morning. Yes. Madam. So that's, that's also <laughs> another problem. And um, when you find that the parents don't sit with their children mm. to guide them, to counsel them, that's what comes out. Because a child will feel whatever is there is mm. what is right. But when the parents sit down, guide their children, talk mm. to them, the child will grow up in an upright way and a child that is brought up knowing God, a mm. child that is brought up in church will be a good child. Are you a pastor? <laughs> <laughs> I love what is happening here. This is interesting. Yeah, well, good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, so let's start with the, oh, your name. I'm Nemsima Gresha. Nemsima Gresha. What is happening? What, why these 
too much cyber harassment. First of all, yeah. I want us to understand that yes. cyber harassment entails many things. Yes. It entails sending emails. Mm. Um, yes, according to what my colleague was talking about, Monica, mm. Mm. that parents are not doing their role, yes. but I think I put it to the person. Mm. It begins with you. Yes. Because as mature as I am, perhaps mm. I've been brought up well. Mm. But someone will send me these emails. Mm. It is not by default that I'm getting these, these false emails mm. or... The messages, but it begins with me. Mm. If I have to post a photo, I have to be careful where I mm. post my photos. And uh, let's look at this, madam. Some pictures go out, and you don't you know anything, and your friends call you in the morning and they're like, Are you on Facebook? Do you see what? And you're like, What's going on? So, do, do you want to tell me you have control over that? Well. By the time the photo goes out, it means you did something. Mm. Uh, there's a scenario of a mm. woman that gave a bottle to her, to her son, mm. a child, mm. the, the daughter. And then, please, mm. have this bottle while I'm going to speak. Someone mm. took the photo. Mm. It is just irresponsibility of mm. us. Mm. What do I post? What do I do? Mm. By the time the photo goes out, I'm, I'm responsible for it. You're responsible for it. Well, as people have the freedom to share whatever they have to share, yes. but I still stand to say that they should be curbed. These mm. vices should be curbed. Mm. Uh, mm. Let's look at the boyfriends who follow you uh, up and about. You've, you've had that, I'm sure, yeah. where they're like, I need to know what is she doing? Who is she hanging with? This Kogamba, Nakurunda, to put it in Muntua Wansi language, Nakurundirao. That is cyber harassment. What do you make of that? Actually, I'm a victim of such a circumstance. <laughs> So uh, is he still following you? No, he was an ex. No. So what happened? What brought him to this level of, you know, putting you in that kind of uh, surveillance? It's a sense of inferiority. Mm. If a woman feels inferior, they don't think that I can stand and tell this man that... Mm really get up and you know mm. stop walking i think this is the trust we give the men mm. when you love someone so much you trust them you mm. give them everything mm. they stalk you everywhere mm. where are you going every second you have to type mm. i am at church mm. i am now t i'm <laughs> taking a <laughs> yes it has happened to me <laughs> but i think it is just because of the inferiority you feel within mm. you mm. you don't have a stand to stand up and mm. say you know what? Stop mm. doing this because they will feel bad about it. So how did you handle it? Did you tell him off? Was it an amicable discussion? Did you, you, you know, you ladies always have a saying, you say, Andrew, we need to talk. We need to have, go did you bring that statement of we need to talk? Or were you just woke up, no, they talk of, you know, gamba and be coy? Yeah, it happened, mm. but I don't know. Maybe I was inferior, but at one point. How did you handle? I stood up and told him, you know mm. what? I don't want you to send me messages. It's, mm. It feels like you do not trust me. Mm. Because every time you have to ask me, where are you and what are you doing? Mm. It feels like you do not trust me. Mm. But then I'm like, if you're not stopping, then I have to walk away from this. I have to leave this relationship. It doesn't, mm. it doesn't have to cost my life mm. for me to stand in such a relationship. Wow. Mm. So sad. So he, he moved on. I left, and even when I got a new boyfriend, mm. he still checked on my Facebook. Mama, you got a new one, thing. and you know, the only thing you have to do now mm. is mm. to ignore, block, and I think this is the step you have to take so at this moment. So the best way you can handle cyber harassment is blocking and you move on. What happens when someone gets another number? Because you still have the same number, and you can't lose your number or your identity or your, your Facebook address because Chama Gera Nemedeko. What happens is that mm. people will keep on looking for you. It's a reality, yeah. but... If you keep changing passwords, and mm. if you, you know, what happens, men mm. give up so easily. Mm. They're not like women, women like Anya Kugamba, we give up so easily. <laughs> yes. When you, keep, when you keep ignoring someone, you mm. keep not texting, you keep away mm. so many times, mm. they will surely walk away. They will, they will feel like, mm. it is not, I'm not gaining out of it. Mm. At the end of that day, they want to see where they're gaining from. But mm. if you keep walking away, you're not the one who pays my money for my Facebook. And yes. So and if I choose to... <laughs> <laughs> so, well, good morning. Good morning. Uh, your name? My name is Maweja Hamad. Maweja, let's look straight in the camera. Yes. You heard what the lady said. I heard. What I, did um... you make of that? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, wow. Now, uh, it, is a fa it is a very funny one, but mm. first of all, I want to start with what you just submitted. Mm. Um, you know, trust is earned. Yes. Sometimes uh, the ladies over time have not given us the ability to earn mm. or to earn to get to give them our trust mm. no 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 mm. it takes me to a point of uh, the morals and values yes 
when I get back to the uh, cyber harassment, yes, yes. it is disappointing that most times mm. I want people to quote me right. Mm. The poor people are victims. Mm. Exactly. Mm. You see, when you look at the rich families, mm. they bring up their children with values, mm. with names they have to protect. Mm. Um, even the parents uh, themselves. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I had someone say so. <laughs> kamaleo, see, kamaleo. Even the parents, <laughs> it is no time that the parents are going to act in a way that can call for, for attention. Mm. They act humble or rich mm. in a humble way mm. but the poor parents will do anything humanly possible to mm. be on the limelight mm. will i'll borrow leaf from the conditions mm. we know all of us know how they mm. came to, to to light mm. so if a child grows up seeing this parent uh, dressing up this way taking pics uh, mm. selfies in mm. in not clothes mm. you know this is what they're going to adopt to and mm. they'll feel life is normal that way mm. the other thing when you look at uh, if i borrow leaf from terrorism mm. they say one man's terrorist is mm. another man's free Freedom fighter. Absolutely. So someone could uh, dress indecently, mm. very indecently, mm. and they feel that is okay. their comfort. Mm. But to the others, it is not comfort. Mm. So many times we need to go back to our morals and mm. values. Mm. What has life taught us? What mm. is the status quo? Mm. What does the community uh, ask us to do? Mm. What are the norms? Mm. That is all we need to know. Are the parents playing their key role to make sure that these values come down to the children? They have lost it. They have lost it here. Someone has just said that parents from rich families, Musimanyi, Vichi, they groom their children, Burundi, Mbufaba, Wansi, our children grow up when they are yearning for fame. Ma'am, your name? Namata Rose. Namata Rose, do you yeah. agree with such a statement? Shuali? I would not agree because mm. I also come from a humble background, mm. but then those people from the rich families are mm. the ones that are actually equipped with the tablets, with mm. the iPhones and all that. Mm. The means they can use to be mm. engaged in the cyberbullying and yes. harassment and mm. everything. So I would, on a percentage, disagree mm. with him. Yes. Although the youth that are coming from humble backgrounds are really yearning to mm. be seen and to mm. be exposed out there. Mm. Some of them think actually when you are a young woman, mm. for the guys to mm. notice you and mm. to have interest in mm. you, you have to have to post something mm. or double tap, double <laughs> tap. <laughs> yes, you get it. So I hear you. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what do you make of the current wave that is going on? People sending a lot of screenshots. I'm having a conversation with you, Rose, and it's between me and you. I've confided in you. And before I know, Monica has it and she's like, Andrew, this is what you like, what do you make of this? What I make of it, you know, sometimes we get caught up in these things that come. Technology mm. has come mm. and we have all adopted it. It is good, but when you make an extra mile or when you overdo it, mm. then that's where the problem comes from. Mm. So when I confide in you and actually trust in you, this thing, trust, it's no, you can't touch it. Mm. There's something that mm. you confide in someone and mm. you're like, ah, let me just share. Mm. <laughs> Only to you realize that there is another in my huge team. group. <laughs> You're in Mama Tendo and you've been exposed and it is actually not funny. This is something serious yes, because absolutely. it can lower people's self-esteem. Mm. Some people actually commit suicide, so mm, it is not good. So how best can we handle this? First of all, we need the technological tools. Mm which is very hard in our government. But do you think our population has the knowledge they need to understand about this? Do we have that capacity with regards to information? I want to have Bamaniche write social media over internet. No, actually, very many people don't understand social mm. media and mm. they they cannot actually they don't understand the best uses for it because mm. they ignore mm. the uses that are actually important to them like the Jumia online mm. apps for mm. buying, buying and things. selling stuff actually mm. the youth there are very many job opportunities mm. online mm. there are very many scholarships online mm. instead of engaging in those ones they are just mm. enjoying the fun it's good to have fun yes. i'm a young girl yes. i also want to have fun i yes. also want to look good yes. but then we have to use them for the right <laughs> uses. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm fine. Your name? Grace Ariel. You've had a lot of fun this morning, yes. Grace. Yes, I have. Cyber harassment. Mm -hmm. Someone said people from humble backgrounds. Uh, no, no, not, not true. <laughs> okay, well, mm. I, I think it, it comes down to character. Mm. And when you look at character, then it is going to get back to family, to mm. environment, to society. Mm. And I want to believe that the best way to shape the society, society mm. and every other thing is to start mm. with the family mm. 
uh, I would agree with my colleagues who have talked about family, but mm. I want to strongly base on this. Mm. Children are not loved. Mm. Even the parents who are s seemingly giving the time, mm. they're doing it courtesy. Mm. I'm supposed to. Mm. So I'm going to give them two hours in the mm. evening when I go back. I'm mm. stressed with work mm. and all I'm going to do is, did you do your homework? Mm. Did you bed? Did you shower? Mm. And that's it. But children need to be loved. Mm. They need to be loved and, and taught all these values with love. Mm. I for one, I grew up from a family that really, really loved me. I can see they loved you. I can so, <laughs> there are things that trust me even mm. when I'm away from home mm. and my dad doesn't even know yeah. what is going on. I'm at campus, I'm grown, I'm above 18. No mm. one would question if I have this or that. Mm. But because of that, even what you teach me with love, mm. I will actually understand that I need to respect people. Yeah. I will understand that I need to trust who is trustable. Mm. I'll understand that I need to be responsible and yeah. know, okay, I think even if she doesn't tell me it's a secret, mm. I can just judge by the information she has shared with mm. me and I know, you know what, mm. it's, it's really serious. Yes. In fact, sometimes me, I just delete them off. Yes. I don't want anyone to get there. I delete them off and then I would, I would love to meet them in person and advise them. Uh, what do you make of people actually who spread these screenshots or the pictures and when, when they get them, they're like, aha, nafunye biarozi. It's because some people, actually people lack love, genuine love. Mm. You see, love? when we get to love, mm -hmm. like Someone Hamad said, there. when we get to love, yeah. people have interpreted it different. What is love? What is According love? According to me, it's just, it's not affection, it's mm. not just affection. Mm. I think love is this strong thing that would make you feel for someone mm. and want the best for them. Mm. And so most of, you see you find that people who actually spread these things mm. are the seeming friends. Yes. Yeah? Yes, absolutely. Maybe your boyfriend mm. or your your suitor or mm. someone a stalker or something mm. because people lack love and respect. Mm. They don't love people genuinely. Bagala mm. <laughs> yes, I, I think uh, she just chipped in something that is very intriguing. Mm. Um, we need to redefine love mm. because it is one of those words that have a thousand meanings. Mm. To some people, I mean... For in this the, context? The status quo states mm. there are some people who are in love with people they have never met mm. on internet. Mm. And the only way you can please this person is by sending them your body, your nudes. Mm. And mm. that is love. Mm. Then the, there is hey, the, hey. <laughs> yes, there is the other person <laughs> who... <laughs> President, get closer. <laughs> this is going to be Yes, there is, there, is, there is the other person who always says, mm. uh, love is when I look at my, 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 my they call them babies, mm. my baby, show mm. me her children Exactly. Mm. So, and <laughs> to the others, it is from the heart. Yes. So... From the heart are like one mm. percent. Mm. From showing me the things and <laughs> yes. <laughs> you see, yes. until we get away from that kind of description that love is about emotions and mm. sensuality mm. and all those things, mm. we are going to always get it different. We're always going to get it wrong. Mm. Yes. What do you make of that? Well, I want to agree to some extent. Mm. Okay, when you're far, you send me just to <laughs> some women actually mm. say mm. that I post my photos because uh, I feel attractive. I feel, yeah. I feel like, you know, it, it boosts my confidence that mm. I'm really having a nice body. Mm. I have mm. a nice car. Oh, and it's <laughs> yeah. to think you're going to actually yeah. show the body because mm. you think you have it. I mm. think being a, what do they call it? Esteem mm. tells you, yeah. you have it, you got it. Don't need to show anyone. Whoever sees, sees that you have it. Mm -hmm. But when I post my photos and yeah. then people see, yeah. see them and they're like, they you're good, then... Yeah. Okay, to some extent, mm. most of the people that post get some, you know, those mm. likes and inboxes and maybe mm. even looking for a suitor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then in the end of the, at the end of the day, some of them mm. actually see that they, they end up saying, I actually feel inferior because no one <laughs> likes my photo. So, uh, Monica, a, a quick one. So, do you believe that we are the real cause of our own problems? Because, like she said, when we post the pictures just to look for, you know, esteem, to, to look for affirmation from people that, oh, we look good, we put ourselves in harm's way? Uh, yes, I, I agree with them because uh, I believe mm. sometimes I term it as compensation effect. Mm. Some people feel they were not. <laughs> 
<laughs> they feel, yeah, th 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 they are compensating for what they did not get when they were young. Because mm. uh, from childhood, if your parents tell you you look good, you're mm. beautiful, you're mm. smart, you grow up with that esteem knowing that I'm beautiful, mm. I'm smart. Mm. But when your parents don't appreciate you, whenever mm. you're smart, they don't tell you you're smart. Mm. Whenever you look good, they don't tell you. Mm. Then you go out there looking for someone to appreciate you, looking for someone to tell you that you're beautiful. Mm. For me, always I say, as mm. though you laughed, I call it mm. compensation effect. Mm. Because people are looking for someone mm. to compensate what, what they, they did. didn't get. Yes, I, I but you. when you have the the esteem, mm. if you deeply know that I'm beautiful, mm. um, I'm cute, I'm mm. everything, mm. you will not bother looking for Hello. all that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, a quick one before we wind up. They have given a couple of issues here, but where is religion in all this? Have we lost the touch with religion? You know, in the University of Chisubi, mm. where we are actually are right now, mm. we have a motto that says, in mm. virtue we educate. Mm. And we believe that this all originates from the virtues. Mm. We've really lost the values, mm. and the values are, are attached to the religion. You know, mm. religion is, is, is put in place to mm. shape our kind of personal characters, yes. to shape our morals, mm. and to keep us in a way that is, you know, disciplined in society. Mm. So this is what we've lost. Mm. And uh, I, 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 I really strongly agree with what, what mm. other discussants have said. Mm. And we have to go back to the virtues. Mm. We really have to go back to mm. the way we... The parents have to go back to the way... The old days mm. where we used to stay with our mother, mm. they care for you and they tell you this is good, this mm. is bad. Mm. They would not slay around, mm. but you see a mother on Slay social. mama, slay jaja. Slay mama, <laughs> slay jaja. You know, this is really bad. And oh, yeah. they set a bad example to their parents. Absolutely. Yes. Well, there you have it. We've had quite a very intriguing conversation here. It has been something you and I have actually tapped into. It's entirely about cyber harassment. Research shows that women are actually 63 three percent are being troubled by cyber harassment stalkers uh, boyfriends monitoring and surveilling their movements and all that and the men on the flip side are the ones spreading more of <laughs> you know what yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but this goes back to what they have actually said a couple of issues they've highlighted something to do with morals values parents we need to play a role government we need a stringent measures laws that are really tough like if someone posts a picture and they see it whether it is in mama tender audible parents or anywhere we cap the person who actually posted it they are taken to courts of law and we get to know there is action that is being made and it should not be selective because maybe someone is famous they can actually walk away with it and on the other side is esteem we need to love ourselves it starts with you prioritize yourself love yourself you don't need to get other people affirm that now if it is something about you know a quick one eh? yeah uh, we need to understand that especially mm. women mm. that our bodies are not mm. some objects for men to behold mm. they are not they are what on a Christian mm. uh, on a Christian yes. perspective mm. the Bible says that mm. My body is mm. the temple of God and his spirit mm. is to live in the inside of me. So mm. it matters even mm. how I dress, it mm. matters how I speak, it matters what I do mm. because my body should be so precious to me and I do not need people to confirm. Well, there you have it. And my producer says the Bible he as well says when you are married, you give your body to your husband and you. When you're married, when you're married, I said it's okay. Anyway, that brings us to the end of a segment today. Reality on the ground with Omun and say I've had a very phenomenal time at Chisubi. Do we have something coming up at Chisubi soon? Yes, we have uh, the freshers are reporting today okay. and we shall have a freshers ball that will come soon uh -huh. and we shall invite NTV Absolutely. to come and Absolutely. We'll be back shortly. My name is Andrew Chamagero Omuntua and back to you in Studio Mala.